Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's Nicole. So in today's video, I thought it would be fun to bring you all along while I make a DIY table. So I am needing a table for where my back door is because every morning when I let the dogs out, I go out there and sit with them with my little cup of coffee and I don't have anywhere to set my coffee down while I'm opening the door and letting the dogs in and out. So I thought it would be a good idea to make kind of like a console table or entryway table, I guess you would call it, to go back there by my back door. So the style of table that I wanna make is gonna be this style right here. I will insert some pictures. So as you all can tell, these tables are the tabletop and then the two legs look almost like they could be from like a dining room table, those types of legs. They're very unique looking legs and I really, really like that. And I actually think that I have the perfect legs to make this type of table. If y'all remember last year, I, I got a dining room table off of Facebook Marketplace for around $60 and hubby and I refinished it and we used it in our dining area for a little bit. But then, of course, my dining area has been through a lot of changes and we decided not to use that table after all. So we got rid of the tabletop, but I like the legs so much that we kept the legs and they are here at my storage unit and that is where we are right now to pick them up. So if y'all wanna see everything that we get into making this table, it's gonna be a journey, y'all, but I hope it comes out as cute as my inspiration pictures. Then go ahead and keep watching. All right, y'all, so I'm home now, and first things first, let me show you all where I want this table to go. So the living room is right here to the right. So over here on this back wall, I want our little DIY table to go right here. So let's go outside and I will show you guys what we're gonna use to make the table. So for the table top and bottom, I am just using a two by 12 by eight foot long piece of wood. I'm just gonna cut this in half. So we're gonna have two four foot long pieces. One will be for the top and one will be for the bottom. I decided to do it this way because I felt like it would be the easiest thing to do as opposed to making an actual tabletop and bottom. I still consider myself to be a beginner woodworker and I also always like to take the easy route out when I'm making things. So this is gonna be my way of making an easy tabletop and bottom. So now for the table legs that I already have, I am just gonna ignore the part that was attached to the table. So the part that has the two bolts on it, I am just gonna ignore that part completely. I'm gonna measure down three and a half inches from the very top of the leg. And I'm just gonna cut straight right there. My idea was to use a chop saw to do this. However, my chop saw did not open far enough for me to be able to do this. Then my next idea was to use a circular saw and I asked hubby for his advice and he said that was probably not that great of an idea. So this proved to be a little bit of a challenge for me and I had him come out and help me. So we used the chop saw for part of it. The chop saw didn't go all the way through the leg. So then he used a hand saw to cut the rest. So I didn't really have a lot of footage of this part, but we did end up just cutting off the part that was attached to the table that has the two bolts on it. All right, y'all, here is the cut piece of two by 12. So it's cut down to four feet. I tried to record myself cutting it, but it is apparently too hot out here and my phone overheated and stopped recording. So you guys know the drill. I just use a circular saw to cut this down to four feet. Now I'm gonna try to assemble it and see how it looks. So here is the table assembled, of course, not actually assembled, just kind of put together so I could get an idea of what it was gonna look like. I absolutely love it at this stage. So now it's time to sand the table top and bottom, and then we can go ahead and put it all together. So 
So let me explain to y'all how I'm gonna use these legs. I am actually gonna use them upside down. So they will be like this. What would normally be the top of the leg that would attach to the table, like if it was a dining room table, which is obviously where these legs are from, is gonna be the bottom part and the skinny part, which is technically the bottom of the table leg, is gonna be the top part. Because all of my inspiration pictures, I noticed that the legs went from thin to a little bit thicker. So I feel like this is what's gonna look best for our little DIY console table. So of course, the first thing I'm gonna start by doing is removing the little buttons that they have on them that were originally, of course, to save your floor. So I'm gonna remove those. And then we're gonna add in these dowel screws right here. So these, you, you make a little hole and then you add them into the leg and then you would make a hole in the tabletop and you would screw them in and they attach the leg to the tabletop. So now that the dowel screws are in, I took what would be the tabletop and I measured in six inches, which is exactly where I wanted my legs to be. I made sure that I drilled right in the center of the tabletop and I drilled a hole smaller than the dowel screw. And then I could go ahead and screw the legs into the tabletop. Once the legs were screwed in, I went ahead and got what would be the bottom of the table and I flipped the table over onto the bottom. And for this part, all I did was add four pocket holes to the bases of the legs. And then I added four screws in just to make it really nice and sturdy. And then of course, check before you put the table together that it is level. And I did do that before I put it together. I just didn't film that part. But at the end, I went ahead and made sure that everything was level once again, and it sure enough was. All right, y'all, so now this is the next day. I am gonna get to painting this table. So I want the table to be black. So I'm gonna use my favorite Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch in flat black. I usually like to use a satin black but I could not find any in store, so this is what I have on hand, so this is what I'll be using. I'll also be using a roller and these smooth surface paint rollers right here. Also, once the paint dries, I'm not gonna show this part on camera, but I will be sealing it with a polycrylic in a clear matte finish.
All right, y'all, so that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope that you all enjoyed joining me on this journey to make this DIY console table. It was so much fun to do, and I really love how it ended up turning out. I cannot wait to decorate it, of course, for fall. So I wanted to make this just a short and sweet video because it did take me a little bit longer than I thought it was gonna take me to make this table in between making the table and also my job. It kind of took a little bit longer than I expected. So stay tuned for next week's video. If you're not subscribed, make sure and subscribe so that you don't miss our video next week where I'm gonna be transforming a mirror that I bought off of Facebook Marketplace to add onto the wall where this console table is. And then we will also be decorating the table for fall and adding a beautiful wreath on the mirror. At least I think that's what my idea is so far, but we'll see what we get into next week. So don't forget to subscribe, like the video if you liked it and leave me a comment down below and I will see you guys in next week's video. Bye y'all.